insurance. If the hospital attendant asks you whether you are paying using a medical card or cash, it is best to say cash. Well, at least before you can access any medical services. This according to Sanlam Kenya Group CEO Dr. Patrick Tumbo. Brenda Garubo spoke to him on medical insurance in the following interview. Medical insurance is classified as the second business when it comes to the insurance industry. This is after motor insurance. But over the last few years, it has not been performing so well. In 2018, according to the Association of Kenya Insurance, it made a loss of about 1.1 billion shillings. Joining us for more in relation to this, we are joined by Patrick Tumbo. He is the Chief Executive Officer at Sanlam Insurance. Thank you so much for your time. Just walk us through exactly what the medical business is all about. How exactly does it work? Thank you. Now, the medical insurance that we offer as the insurance industry is together for all ailments, natural ailments, even the chronic ailments, including uh, what people always fear, name them hepatitis, AIDS, cancer, all those are covered. And uh, we give a quite, quite a range. So somebody has to purchase the limit is able to pay. We can give as low limits as 200,000 by year and as high as 10 million in the insurance industry. So cover is available because we know that if somebody doesn't have insurance and the ailments strike, especially the chronic ailments, people end up auctioning their hard-earned property or assets, including their matrimonial homes. So we encourage the Kenya citizens to purchase the right insurance from the insurance companies. So it caters for all range of ailments, ranging or sicknesses ranging from natural diseases to lifestyle diseases, you can name them. It also covers accidents as well, that if you are in hospital because of an accident. But it's still very expensive. I mean, when you look at the penetration, especially in the Kenyan market, not everybody can afford it, especially the ones that have terminal illnesses. Well. You see, insurance is a game of numbers. <clears throat> what we do as the insurers is if people come together, we pull resources. And from those resources that we pull together, that we are able to pay for the expenses. So uh, we believe that if many people come together, there are those who are healthy and there are those who are ailing. Then if all of them put the money together, insurance can be cheap. But right now, we have few people purchasing insurance. So what we are doing deliberately in the insurance industry is trying to expand so that even the people in the small and medium enterprises, families, and the people who are employed can purchase insurance. When the numbers are large, we believe on the law of large numbers, then predictability is easy. So that way, we know that affordability can come down and many people can be able to afford the insurance covers. Talking about affordability, we also have quite a number of hurdles and we have to talk about fraud because it's the biggest challenge that the medical insurance is facing right now. Talk to us a little bit about this and what are insurance companies doing in dealing with this matter? Thank you. Actually, we are happy as the insurance industry that media is coming to work with us to educate the public the essence of people insuring. It's good for people to know that fraud is the worst enemy. Because if we are able to prevent fraud, then it means the monies, the little monies that have been collected will go to the rightful beneficiaries, and not fraudsters. Then the cost will come down. Because as we price, we price also catering for uh, the likelihood of us being defrauded. And then we want the public to know, we want the Kenya citizens to know, that if you see something wrong happening, you need to shout it out. Because what is happening, a person doesn't have insurance cover, he takes a relative to the hospital, and the person is treated on that particular card. That is fraud. You have seen in the media whereby certain people in certain hospitals, when they know you are covered by insurance company, they change. Instead of consultation being 2,000, it's 5,000. In the case of drugs, which have, could have costed 200, is 2,000. And that is fraud. When you see that happening, you blow the whistle, and then we deal with those fraudsters. We have support from the regulator. 
Well, so you have to be very careful when it comes to matters medical insurance, as you've heard from that particular in 